How does it feel having the new suit first and foremost? Uh, it's amazing. Um, <laughs> this suit is, I mean, as you probably can see, it's, it's so much more comfortable. So yeah. um, I've been in it a lot uh, this season, uh, both here in Vancouver. So I, what I've been doing and how much I've been in it couldn't, couldn't have happened in the old suit. So this is, I don't think I could really sit in the old suit. So, yeah. <laughs> what did you say, like it was an hour or something putting the old suit on? Originally it was. We eventually got it down to like about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Um, this is about 15 minutes, um, but it just, the old suit was about 60 pounds, and this is, I don't know what it is, but it's not. Way lighter. It's way lighter. It moves. There's no, you can move. There's no restrictions. I can, I can touch my toes and pick things up and all that stuff, so. So what was it like to stand on stage with a bunch of other superheroes like on his shirt? <laughs> it was it was it was um first of all it was awesome. It was just massive uh, the amount of people, you know, uh the amount of number ones, the amount of uh, superheroes was just massive and uh they uh handled it well. But then it was you had these out of body moments when you just kind of not while you were acting but in between shots when you just looked around and everybody's in some sort of costume and you're like this is weird, man. <laughs> Everybody's in capes and tights, and, and you're like, wow, this is really bizarre. But um, all in all, it was great. I mean, they, they welcomed me with open arms, and I had a blast. I had a blast. At San Diego Comic Con, you talked about how, uh, in one word, you described this season as global. But then the first, first few episodes, so you didn't go anywhere. I know. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. I didn't know. Right. I know. But now, now you're out. Yes. But uh, the world looks a little bit different. A lot different, yes, yeah. I mean, well, I mean, global in the in the sense that you know we have a foreign power that's, mm -hmm. you know, trying to invade, and our government's locked us down, and so it's much more than just you know corner boys, and uh, Tobias trying to just take over the city for his own power. So it is it is global, um, and it's going to get more global and and uh, and uh, bigger and better. Um, hopefully, the, all the fans will dig it. How are you approaching a character of Jeff now that he has that there's more at stake than just the school or individual students or the green light babies? Like, you know, he's operating as a symbol on a bigger stage, like you're saying. So has that changed the way you're thinking about playing the character at all? Um, well, I am ch uh, changing, but not just necessarily because of that. It's more because of all the things that he's been through. Uh, I think he's angrier. And I think he has the right to be. Um, you, you know, going from season one, you know, his school was successful, his daughters were safe, and then you progress to being locked up for, you know, over a month, and then coming out to an occupation, and uh, it's, and you know, nobody's safe. So you know, he's uh, he's tried to to do things the right way and play by the rules, and then and sees the repercussions of that. So he's angry. Um, Talk about Jefferson's relationship now with Anissa. Him now having to accept the whole Blackbird thing and knowing that, like, we saw how the relationship was in episode three or four. Like, he was like, all right, I get it. But how is Jefferson really feeling about it? Uh, he hates it. I mean, let's just be <laughs> real. Um, you know, everything that uh, Anissa is doing, uh, I mean, you, I mean, we, you know, you guys have seen the episode. She's got this incredibly uh, fat crib. And you know how it came, you know how it came about. I mean, those are all things that that, uh, that you know Jefferson can't abide. But what happens, like you know, in our show, there's so much going on. There's not a lot of time to stop, stop and reflect. And so he's immediately thrust into this whole occupation and, and trying to get the lay of the land since he's been gone. And there's just just conflict after conflict coming up. And so they work together. He he you know utilizes her, and it just you just kind of hit the ground running. But if he had time to really sit at a table, at a dinner table, you know, that'd be a discussion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Bouncing, oh, oh, sorry, bouncing off of that really quick, how yeah. does uh, the pushback from Anissa affect his relationship with Jen? Um, you know, they're still about the same. I mean, Jen is going through, and again, because of the fast and furious of this, I think, you know, Christine had said when we were at Comic-Con about, there's not going to be a lot of time around the dinner table and it's because there's no time I mean it's just just and everybody's there's been no dinner table. there is no dinner table it's been, it's been exploded no it's, 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 uh, but you know everybody's thrust in these different directions that take priority so um, and you know I think Jefferson is at the biggest disadvantage because he's coming out 
and having to then get acclimated to occupation, you mm -hmm. see that Jennifer is like, yeah, this is what's been happening, you know, and this is our, like, this is what's been happening. And he's got to go, wait, what's happening? And then have to kind of deal with it. So I don't think he really had the time to kind of corral the family and really take, mm -hmm. take, uh, take stock. So we're only at episode four right now, but can you speak to Jefferson's relationship with Odell as the season progresses? Because, you know, he's got this fancy new suit. Yes. But Odell is also <laughs> manipulating his daughter. Yes. So, you know, there's like a lot of layers to Odell and his involvement with the Pierce family. So right. can you talk about uh, that? I mean, we all know Odell's a dirty dog. <laughs> right? And it's funny, I mean, uh, if you were actually over at the stages where you would have you would have had a huge spoiler, so don't go over there. Um, but, uh, you know, he, uh, you know, Jefferson always tries to do things the right way, and he's trying to honor this deal. And I think even as we get into episode four, uh, he doesn't like what's going on with the occupation, but, you know, he, he's not privy to the manipulation that's happening um, yet. He still thinks that, you know, the deal he's made is being honored. Um, and, uh, Obviously, he's going to eventually find out, and uh, it'll be fun. Last Staying on, season, oh, okay. Sorry. Staying on Odell for a second. Yeah. Bill Duke is really only the latest in a bunch of high-profile black Hollywood elders that Selena Mar have brought into the show. Mm -hmm. Like, talked about, like, you know, it was, it was, it was, um... Robert Townsend. Robert Townsend. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. started with Antonio Vargas. <laughs> yeah. Robert Townsend. Yeah. You know, like, what has that been like to, you know, you, these are people you probably watched growing up. Right, right, right. What's it's, that like to share a stage with them in, 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 in pursuit of building a heroic legacy metaphor? I mean, it's really cool because I love just, you know, uh, I love conversations, first of all, and I'm a bit of an old soul, and uh, from my work ethic to my training, all of it is kind of old school. And so having those guys on set, you know, with Robert, we always talk about theater. Um, with Bill, you know, we're just getting, you know, we're talking about the writing and, and, and Bill loves it, like, go off into politics and all sorts of things and stuff. And I just love having them on set and, and getting to rap with, with people that I feel like uh, I really connect with from that old school mentality. Um, last season, it felt like, you know, Tobias was our big baddie. Right. Now, how does Jefferson feel about Tobias now that he sees him all the time? Oh, I mean, that never goes. Now that he's seen Tobias. <laughs> 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 I, I don't think he, I, I mean, I think if, if, if uh, his feelings about Tobias are still exactly the same, even though he's, he's, you know, now Tobias is locked up, it's just, again, not having time to breathe. It's like, okay, he's locked up, still hate him, you know, kind of wish he was dead. Uh, but I got to deal with all this now, and I got Odell, and I got these these soldiers who just locked down my, my you know the city, and and um, but you know if Tobias was in front of them, like they're not gonna have coffee or anything. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> now, when we talked to Christine, one of the things she said is that she doesn't think Freeland will ever really get back to normal after the occupation. That she doesn't think there's a a road back. Do you think that Jefferson would disagree with that? Uh, of course. I mean, I, not only Jefferson, but Crest disagrees with that. <laughs> um, you know, um, well, when you say back to normal, right, back to normal, Freeland was never like this idealistic place. It was always, you know, it was flawed. Uh, there was crime, there were, you know, that's why I had to originally put the suit back on in the first place. So if we get back to just that, that's still normal. Mm -hmm. um, and I, yeah, I, I'd say we definitely uh, will eventually get back to that. I mean, you know, it's the United States. We can't be occupied uh, forever, um, or it's just kind of, uh, this is like a reference, it's kind of Red Dawn, 24-7. Who reads? With that notion that, that Freeland's old normal wasn't all that great anyway, yeah. is there a way for Freeland to prosper? Um, yeah, no, I think so. I mean, I, I, maybe I'm just an optimist. I mean, I know that we have to have conflict, obviously, but... Um, you know, somewhere we're way down the line when, you know, we're doing the, the final episode that I hope we have left Freeland better than we found it. Um, I, don't, I do think that this whole kind of, uh, you know, occupation won't last forever, but also that I hope that we've, you know, cleaned up the streets. And it's, that it's not like perfect, it's not going to become Mayberry, but I do hope it's, that it's better than we found it. And I think it's going to be better than we found it. But, you know, it, you don't have a show if you don't have conflict, so. It's going to take a while. It'll be fun and messy and all that. 
Speaking of the conflict, you currently in Freeland are dealing with not only the occupation, but the real life symbolization of similar similarities. Excuse me, the kids being in cages. Yes. How does Jefferson feel about that? Um, and, I mean, how does Chris feel? and how does Crest <laughs> feel about <laughs> Jefferson? And, 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 and this is not always the case, but you know Jefferson and Crest feel uh, exactly the same. Uh, you know, <laughs> outraged. I mean, that's the thing. You know, uh, way back when I read the script, and I, I identify with Jefferson as a family man, and, and a lot of the scenes that have to do with the daughters and the family, like I tap into picturing my own daughter and and um, my family. So I mean, that's I'm. Outraged, and I think you know. Um, I think we all wish that we could have powers, um, and there'd be a lot of hurt people if I had some powers. So um, I guess there's a reason I don't. Last question, guys. Lynn is working a lot. Um, yes. <laughs> how, when is that? Is that going to come to a head? And is there going to be a conf confrontation between the two? Uh, it's gonna come to a head. I don't. Uh, I, I I couldn't even spoil it for you because we haven't gotten to the resolution of it yet. But it definitely is going to be a confrontation. Okay. <laughs> Most definitely. So to, I mean, to you're, not wedding, huh? you're not wearing a wedding ring. Huh? You're not wearing a wedding ring. Uh, oh, I, well, no. See, I never <laughs> wear a ring. I, no, no. I never wear my ring in the suit. It, it, you know, I got gloves on. I can't. 